Now joining me right now is Manitoba Premier Heather Stephenson. Thank you very much for joining us right now. Hi Bart, great to be here today. Thanks so much. <laughs> so how much of this budget is designed to prevent the NDP from clawing their way back into, well, your office? Well, this is not a budget that's about the NDP. This is a budget that's about Manitobans. And we've heard loud and clear from them that they've had difficulties making ends meet over the course of the last little while. So they're looking for some tax relief, which of course this offers historic tax relief for Manitobans, while also making those investments in healthcare, education, justice, social services that Manitobans have been asking for as well. Now this $2 billion in additional spending this year made possible with a huge increase in federal transfers, more than a billion in total, a lot of additional tax revenue coming in, even with the tax cuts here. So some people are suggesting, uh, some people on the right, some people on the left, that this <laughs> is not the most fiscally responsible uh, budget. This is your Tory Premier. What would you make of that accusation? So what we are doing is uh, we've been listening to Manitobans. We've heard loud and clear from them again that they want some tax relief. They've had troubles making ends meet. They want more uh, investments in health care, education, justice, social services. We're doing just that while also uh, continuing our reduction to the deficit. So we are being fiscally prudent. What would you say to folks that, say, that would say, hey, what were you doing for the past few years? Why didn't we see this kind of spending before? You know, we've had uh, record increases in, in revenues. We know that there's been inflationary pressures out there. Uh, so what we are doing with those increases in revenues is actually giving it back to Manitobans by the way of tax, by the way of tax relief, as well as further investments, again, in health care, education, social services, but also being uh, fiscally responsible by making sure that we're on target uh, by reducing that deficit again this year. And we're still on target to balancing the budget. Uh, you know, a few years out. So flip side, why not make all of these tax hikes, or rather cuts, excuse me, I'm so used to talking about tax hikes <laughs> on budget day, why not make all these tax cuts happen this year and not next year? Why wait until after the election for at least, for example, the bracketing shift to take place? Yeah, well, so certainly the basic personal amount will take place as of July 1st if the budget passes on June 1st. And uh, we want that to, to happen. We want Manitobans to get that relief sooner. You'll also know that um, we have been giving affordability, uh, uh, $200 million in the way of affordability checks back to Manitobans to provide that relief for them immediately. So that relief along with the basic personal amount and this of course um, the tax brackets are, are there as well which will take place in January 1st of 2024. Lifelong Tory, why, how do you feel when you see cutting checks to people? It's kind of like a Ralph Klein move. How, how do you actually personally feel about this particular decision made by yourself and the rest of your government? Well Bart, extraordinary times require extraordinary measures. And that's what we heard loud and clear from Manitobans. They're having difficulty making ends meet. You know, we need to respond to Manitobans. We've been listening to Manitobans. And I think this budget is reflective of what they've been asking for. I've asked you a number of times in the last couple of weeks if the October 3rd election date is set in stone. Earlier today, you said, well, it is for now. But would you like to take this opportunity to tell our, our, our viewers once and for all that October 3rd will be the date and it will be not sooner or later? October 3rd is the date as of now. <laughs> As of now, <laughs> so we could see it sooner. What would what would change to make you want to go earlier or later? No, I, I, October third is the date that we're that we're moving towards right now, uh, Bart. And and I think you know Manitobans. I mean, it depends on what the federal government does. They could be uh, calling an election at any time. So there's different complicating matters out there. You can't be having two elections at the same time and that sort of thing. So there's other complicating factors in play. We want to ensure Manitobans don't want to have two elections at the same time or overlapping elections. Uh, I think they want us to be at work getting j the job done for them, and we'll continue to do that. Premier, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Bart. You're more than welcome.